Okay. We just looked in the electronic online manual and it doesn't indeed face this way. So we can wind up. Still slides. So there we go. That's this one page down. Make sure I'm not missing anything this time. Okay. Start getting some of this stuff out of here. I don't need all of this in my way. Put my finished pages over on the counter, which you do not see because that's off camera. In. Okay. This is the thing for the tube head that I just went through. And now I'm looking for the bed frame. Note, frame is too high in image. Bed corners should be wound down before attaching the bed. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I gotta put in this very big square thing next. And that's interesting, these little cross brace things are not attached either. I'll put those on later. I don't know where that was supposed to be put on. Check somewhere in the yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'll go through that and deal with that. Alright. So I got my parts list. One eight millimeter screw. The X carriage, which is that very big square thing. Where is the X carriage? Found the X carriage. All right. Okay, so I have to lower this carriage down. I really need to tighten this guy up a little bit for that. Showed it way up. I get it now. I get it. Well, any of that, I need to bring it up a little bit higher for it to, uh, to be able to get it in there. Which is good because it looks like everybody's coming up at about the same rate. Feels this would be as good a time as any day. Check this. Okay, so that's thirteen mil. This out of my way. And that's a hair higher. Interesting. That's not good. Guess that one. 
piece of plastic to get to the bottom of that. Hmm. A little higher, so we only have this one that's off. So right to the top of this is 13 mil. That should be the bottom of this thing. It's way higher. Hmm. That ain't good. Let's see what this guy's got. So that one looks about right. Alright. So I'll loosen this thing back up again. Bring this guy down. Oops. And I'll bring everybody else around. I'm sure that there was some sort of alignment step in this thing somewhere, but. My guess is that probably did not happen. mil. We were still at 13 mil. You are higher than 13 mil. Let's take your butt off here. Lower well, you down. No, you're at 13 mil. And where are you? I don't know if you can see any of this. Yeah, I guess you can. It's a little higher than 13 mil. Okay, 13. Thirteen. Oh, I wish you could see. Oh, I said it didn't suck so bad. Oh, you're a little high. A little bit high. So get these guys back on without moving them. So from here. Oh, good. I actually probably should do this. Probably should do this with the deck in place. I think that's going to be easier. At the very least, just set in place so this stuff can't spin while it's not supposed to be going anywhere. And I'm just going to drop a couple of screws in here just to keep these guys aligned. Because I just know that belt's going to belt's gonna swing out on me. I'm probably doing this wrong by somebody's estimation, but I don't really care. I just want the machine to work. And just for the record, I took these out of bin 5 randomly, and then we'll put them back into bin 5, not so randomly. Once I'm done getting this thing adjusted. Okay. Alright, once again, here we go, good feeling. Okay, 13 mil to the top. 13 mil to the top. 13 mil to the top. Can you guess what this one's going to be? I'm thinking you can.
15 mil to the top. Okay, I want this on the card belt. See that this little setup is a treat. I have to say, I'm not entirely surprised that they weren't able to get this guy on here for a shot. Because it definitely there's a little bit of entertainment value to it. Come on, get down there. There you go. Get down there. So that's tight there, that's tight there. The only place I want slack is over here because that's not cogged. That'll be tight there. here and get under the stepper motor. Not down below it where you are now. That's that's unhandy. Alright, so you're in the stepper motor. Give it a little bit of tension. Not much though. Slipping. Looks like that main gear is actually high, so it's trying to run its way down. That would have been nasty if this happened at speed. So, where's the adjustment to that? I'll do this to get this back out of the way again. This thing is wicked out around. Okay. That was not the right size. That's much lower. And it lines up. More importantly, Okay, 
Tension there, tension there, tension there, tension there. Everything looks, everything looks even. Alright, so now what I'll do is I'll get this, I'll get this new new position. A little higher would be better. My new measurement will be 14. Amazing amount of drag and head it up. Keep going. I'm going to go right on the 14 mil mark because it's just going to be easier for me to keep everything even. I mean, that's why we got the metric system to begin with here. Okay, 14 mil. And this one's low. this up again. Let's see, how can I do this without knocking these guys out of alignment? There, that should do it. Oops. The other up. The thing I'm confusing that is, it shouldn't be. It's a gear. Okay. Uh, you're at 14. Tension's maintained. This guy get too far to whack. to another measurement. So I'm just going to lower this back down to uh, 13 again.
13. That's that's loose now and ready to go. So then we'll look at the instructions some more. Get these guys out of the way. And then we will get back to it. <laughs> 